We're active people. We're flag people, too. One year after the Indianapolis 500, we decided to ride our bicycles back to 225 miles to Chicago. We must have found over a thousand flagpoles and flags. Half of them no longer even fly flags, and most of the others had broken down parts, makeshift parts, that eat up a new flag fast. That's when we became the Flag Runners. I'm going to show you how to read the trail markings. I got some old halyard going up to an old truck. It's a rotating truck. It's actually frozen in place pretty much with the prevailing winds. Look at this flag up here. It's wrapped around the pole. Now normally a rotating truck would not allow a flag to do that. So you know your flag truck is stuck. The flagpole truck up there at the top is frozen in place. The flag is wrapped around. We've got some serious 45 mile an hour or, or, or better 45 now winds in the next two or three days and you can't even lower that flag right now if you want to but pretty soon the flag will drop it'll start to unwind and we'll be back to being able to service that without going up there to the top sometime we're gonna have to change that truck when it's all going right it's Honeywell look at this nice flagpole trucks rotating and keeping the flag downwind and giving it the best chance of a good life. We've got the tire chased out. See the pool's a little older but it's maintained a good shine in the sun. Looking really good, Honeywell. Thanks for watching the Flag Runners brought to you by flagdesk.com.